Penetrating keratoplasty has long enjoyed the status of being the standard surgical technique for the management of ectatic corneal disease. The excellent prognosis of penetrating keratoplasty in terms of visual gain and graft survival in these cases is attributed to the non-inflammatory nature of the corneal pathology, especially in eyes with keratoconus. Recurrence of keratoconus in the donor tissue and progression of keratoconus in the host cornea after keratoplasty has been known to occur. This recurrence has been attributed to various factors such as residual disease in the host periphery and graft host malapposition. Post-keratoplasty ectasia causes severe astigmatism and irregular corneal contour subsequently making hard contact lens fitting very difficult in advanced cases. The ectasia and thinning in these cases may involve the donor, the graft host junction and the host tissue. A repeat conventional penetrating keratoplasty involves the use of a larger graft and its inherent complications such as glaucoma, and the increased risk of endothelial rejection. We have described tuck in lamella keratoplasty, or TILK, for the surgical management of cases with advanced corneal ectasia involving the corneal periphery, such as keratoglobus and pellucid marginal degeneration. In the present study, we evaluated the role of TILK in the management of post-PK corneal ectasia extending beyond the graft host junction. For this surgery, a new trephination in the host cornea will be performed approximately one millimetre beyond the site of the original PK. This will be partial thickness, approximately 200 to 250 microns in depth. Once this tissue has been removed, an intrastromal pocket may be created in the remaining peripheral host corneal tissue, extending up to 0.5 mm beyond the limbus. Next, a donor tissue will be prepared to match the contour of the host bed. A 9 or 9.5 mm trephination of 300 microns in depth will be made in the donor tissue. Lamella dissection will follow, peripheral to the trephine cut extending to the limbus circumferentially. The peripheral superficial corneal tissue will be excised. After trephination, a centripetal dissection is carried out to excise the central anterior stromal disc. Next, a centrifugal lamella dissection is performed using a crescent knife to create a peripheral intrastromal pocket. Donor tissue is prepared with the aid of an artificial anterior chamber. First, a 300 micron in depth trephination of approximately 9 or 9.5 millimetres in diameter is performed. Lamella dissection is performed out to the limbus and then anterior stromal tissue in the periphery may be removed. After marking, the donor tissue may be excised from the sclera manually, as shown. The donor tissue now consists of a central full thickness 9 or 9.5 mm tissue with a peripheral partial thickness flange of approximately 2 mm. After removal of the decimase membrane, the flange of the donor tissue is tucked into the peripheral intrastromal pocket of the host created previously and 16 to 20 interrupted sutures with 10-0 nylon are applied to secure the graft onto the host bed.
Tuck in lamella keratoplasty was performed in six eyes of five patients with post PK corneal ectasia. All of these cases were originally operated for keratoconus. At the end of 10 months, all grafts remained clear. There was a significant improvement in uncorrected and best corrected visual acuity. Our technique of tuck-in lamella keratoplasty is a viable option for the management of cases with post-keratoplasty corneal ectasia.